All right, so today I'm going to be showing a power view here and a few different uh, tools that you can use for uh, doing an Active Directory assessment. All right, so my starting situation here is I already have uh, access on one of these domain computers in an Active Directory. And my next step is to actually get power view onto this uh, machine. So then I can start using the different power view commandlets to uh, do enumeration against uh, this Active Directory uh, target, right? So uh, here on my local Kali box, I am hosting it on uh, a web server on port uh, 8888. So with that, right, I'm here in uh, Evil WinRM, which uh, gives you a PowerShell interface on the target machine. So I'm going to be using um, a PowerShell command to download a power review uh, onto the system here. So let me just quickly look up the syntax. Okay, here it is. Okay, it's I E X invokes expression new object uh, net web uh, client uh, download download uh, download string and HTTP 10 10 14 13 I believe is my IP address and one two three four is a port and the name of the script is powerview.ps1. All right, rerun that. And hopefully we'll get no errors. Okay, it looks like it came back. And we go back here to our, our web server, right? It shows that the target server here grabbed that PowerShell script. So now it's uh, loaded within the memory of this PowerShell session. So now we could run different PowerView commands. So to start off with, one of the commands that I really like to uh, run, I think, yeah, is uh, get a net computer. So I'll run that. And that will uh, uh, chat through L LDAP with the domain controller, I believe, and grab all the in different information on the different computer here on, on this system. So uh, the next command that I wanted to show uh, here, let me try to pull up my reference here really quick, is uh, get object ACL. So, okay, so let's here get object ACL. And the person, I'm, so uh, I guess, uh, so my previous enumeration say the scenario here is like, I know there's two users, there's a Dave user and a Nathan user. And so now I'm gonna try to enumerate more information about those users to see what privileges and rights they have on, on the active directory uh, domain. So th that's what I'm going to try to do. So I think the, uh, the argument here is identity. And then the name is, uh, is let's first do Nathan. So I run that with Nathan. And what, what it did here was it gave back all the uh, different uh, ACLs, uh, access control lists of all the different objects here in active directory and the rights that this particular user has. So there's a lot more rights than I expected. And it's just, oh, nice. Okay, so that came back. So these were all the rights for uh, Nathan. And I'm going, and then I'll just do it really quick uh, for Dave as well. But the, uh, the point, and I'm gonna try to do a shortcut, but the, the point that I wanted to, uh, the reason why I wanted to show was that I was going to identify the, the rights for doing um, a replication. And the replication rights, if, if a user has that, then you're gonna be able to do the, D, uh, the DC sync uh, command to in order to pull hashes uh, from, from the Active Directory, right? So, but uh, to sort of speed this demo along, what I can tell you uh, through, if you were to parse this, is that the Dave user, he has those rights but the Nathan user does not have, have those DC rights. So let's jump to uh, another tool here. So the next tool I'm, I'm going to be used is a part of the uh, in packet suite. And uh, this tool, let's see here. So I'm going to be using uh, secret dumps. And let's see the help for it really quick to, to show you all the capabilities. So it's a very powerful script. And I, I believe what it has in it is that it has different methods 
of trying to get hashes uh, from, from an Active Directory server. And in this case, I wanted to uh, use the uh, DC, DC sync replication privileges in order to grab the hashes from, from this server. So uh, to show you the different users here, let's first try it with uh, that Nathan user, which you know I claimed if you were uh, to parse that um, the output of, of the, the get ACL, you will see that he does not have the, the permissions to the replication. So this should fail, 10, 10, 10, 161. So let's run that. And his password is this one, right? So we get an access denied, right? So when we try to run it as Nathan, we get an access denied. So now let's try to uh, use the Dave account instead. Okay, so the password for this one is boom, 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 oops, zero. That guy. Oh, don't. Okay, cool. Okay, so check it out, right? So in this case, we run it as a Dave user, which does have the, the replication privileges, right? It gives us back all the different hashes for all of the users. So hopefully there's not going to be too much. And okay, so that was basically what I wanted to show for the demo. But let's get a little ambitious here and let's try to see if we can find the administrator account. And let's just see if we can just uh, do a sort of a patch to hash type of thing to uh, complete this demo. But like, so my concern right now is that, okay, which, so look, look, check this out, right? We have this one for the administrator and then we have this one for the administrator. One, two, three. I believe it was this hash, maybe? Let's see. So, or I guess we can sort of YOLO, just try a bunch of them. But uh, so I, I did not test this part of the demo, but uh, not this guy. But I'm just curious to see if we'll be able to get it to work. OK, so administrator. Uh, at 10, 10, uh, 1, 6, 1, hashes, and then we put in this hash here. And I believe that's a syntax, yeah. So let's try this one. Uh, what's it saying here? Need more than one value to unpack. Am I doing, oh, okay. I think this, the, the way this one works was that you need both of these. I think, I, I think what, oh, oh, that's the Kerberos. Okay, okay, I, I was cut and pasting from the wrong. So I need this kind of uh, NT hash and not, not the Kerberos stuff down there. So here, let's scroll and hopefully we'll be able to find it for administrator, guess, default, uh, da, 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 a bunch of these weird ones for these SM accounts. Uh, Lucinda, Dave, Nathan. Ah, uh, is there no administrator hash here? Does, here, let me quickly try to um, copy this guy real quick here. Grab all, oh, there, there it is. It's on the very top. Okay, good times. Okay, let's grab this hash. And we go back here, go here, delete all this. Gosh. Okay, it's trying the protocol. And that's the that's thing with uh, some of these impact tools because of its back. Oh, connection refuse. Bummer. Okay, so now I'm a little, I'm a little curious here in terms of, Will some of these other impacket uh, functionality work? At 10, 10, uh, 161 uh, hashes. Let's try this. Okay, it looks, looks like it uses a different format. Uh, what's it saying? Unrecognized. Oh, because it's a single dash, not, not a double dash. 
And do I have the, no, I don't think I've quoted. Okay, let's try as this guy. And will we get something? Ah, oh, connection refused. It looks like this box is more hardened than I expected. Okay, one last try and then we'll, we'll end the demo here with the WMI exec. Okay, so it looks like this box did not open these ports and I guess that, that's why this did not work. But with the hashes, I imagine there are probably other ways we can uh, use this hash to get onto the box. But you know, with that, I will end this demonstration. Oops, uh, right.